one. Philadelphia coming to Atlantic City as the Philly Phenoms, Robin Boots, and it's fighting for the third time here in AC, a 90-minute drive from his native city of brotherly love when Roy Monvia, well, he's lost once, but it was a disputed decision against Marcos Villasana, the son of the former featherweight champ, and that came in 2019 via split decision. So both of them known for their power, but there are levels to this thing called boxing. And early in this fight is very important for Roy Monvia. He struggled with the hand speed and combination punching of Rashidi Ellis. The problem is, for him, Rashidi Ellis is not a big power puncher like Ennis is. So if he struggles with Ennis' hand speed and combinations too much, he could find himself in trouble. And unlike Karan Chuka John, we don't expect Roy Monvia no. to uh, go about getting his daily recommended 10,000 <laughs> steps in this fight after. <laughs> no, definitely not. He is going to be right in front of Ennis. And you can see it right away early on. Uh, Ennis being able to use that jab, landing that will, the right hand. And then, you know, that's where you want to keep the fight right now in the center of the ring. Sharp jab on display already for Jerron Boots Ennis. And really is that rare blend of everything you want in a professional prize fighter. Power, speed, technical skills, defense, and a high ring IQ for the 26-year-old still yet to enter his physical prime is Jerron Boots Ennis, but in this, his 32nd professional fight, you would think by this time he would have had a title opportunity, but we know what's happening July 29th. You know, uh, he is fighting his first round as a righty and has stayed that way, Ennis. Uh, he often switches, as we've pointed out. We'll see how long it takes in this fight, if he does, in fact. Yeah, you saw attempts right there of Avila throwing, trying to throw his own jab, and you know he needs to do that. He can't just stand in front of him and try to block every single jab that Ennis is throwing at him. Yeah, Ennis has a two-inch reach advantage. We'll try to take advantage. Beautifully done, right hand to the body, followed by the uppercut, and he can deliver uppercuts with both hands. Mm -hmm. Villa tried to counter with his own left hook, and Villa has a powerful left hook. Didn't quite get it there. It was a good, good attempt though from Villa. Villa walking down Ennis. Ennis going to the body, hits the midsection with a jab, stays just out of range, and it's all Jerron Boots Ennis jab here in the first frame. Already throwing 46. Amazing. I was just going to give that number out. It's staggering. That's a lot of jabs for one round. Compared to just 10 now for Villa. And it's credited with 13 jabs. Look, we knew, and now the first time Ennis switches to lefty, we knew this first round was going to be a little bit like this, but Ennis has really unloaded with that jab. A look at the keys to victory for each of these men, for Ennis, punch and combination, deal with your angles. And when he gets on the inside, which he hasn't done yet, more alluded to the uppercut for Ennis, it's a good one. As for Villa, weather the early storm, well, you can see it's there. It was a storm of jabs. Get to the body. I think it's important that he work the body at some point in this fight. Doesn't throw a lot of body punches, but he scored several knockdowns to the body. And the overhand right, big weapon for him. Others have landed against Ennis, but they haven't hurt him. Raymond Villa, trained by Rene Ordorica. Of course, for Ennis, a family affair, trained by his dad, Bozy. His two older brothers were professional fighters. They help him as well, and Ennis continues to help himself. Whether orthodox or southpaw, the stick remains highly effective. Yeah, that jab is blinding Villa right now. But, you know, you want to see a little bit more head movement from Villa. Try to get in the inside by moving his head and not just going in straight forward. Because Ennis is always going to find an angle. And in that opening round, as Ennis continues to go to work on Villa Al, we mentioned it. He landed 16 of 60 jabs. The welterweight average is 5 of 23. But here in round two, he's starting to land the heavier thunder. Yeah, and Villa's trying to counter him when he gets an opportunity, but the difference in hand speed is so dramatic. But a virtuoso performance with the jab in round one, and the crowd, the partisan crowd here in Atlantic City, Rallying behind Ennis as he lands a solid right hand, splitting the guard of Villa.
And he ta Ennis talked about the fact that he would push Villa back. I didn't think he was going to do it this early because he says and believes that Villa does not know how to fight going backwards. Neither fighter has been down as a professional. The last time Villa faced a lefty and we see Ennis fighting as a southpaw was back in October 2019, seven fights ago. Midway point of the second. He already with blood from his nose, so that those straight lefts and the jabs have really had an impact already. And there's that thing we have seen from Jerome Boussenis in the past. Abner, he likes to flick that right hand out as he then goes with the jab. Yeah, he, he tries to get his attention, you know, put in his hand up right there. Creative. Exactly, really creative. And then, boom, he throws the quick jab. Oh, and Villa looking for the uppercut misses. And, and as good as Ennis is offensively, just as proficient defensively, the argument can be made. Our historian, our unofficial scorer, Steve Hart, has done the research out of the 91 rounds coming into this fight. Hard-pressed to find one that Ennis lost. Yeah, and you know, Ennis can be, sometimes he's so aggressive with his hell bent leather style, he'll get hit with some punches, but, you know, they haven't heard him, number one, and he always then goes back to being responsibly uh, in a defensive way. There's a jab that lands for Villa, then just misses with a sweeping right hook, and Abner, there was the half speed of Jerome Boots Ennis, the bolo punch, the jab! Uh, he's really enjoying himself right now, Ennis, being in the right position, throwing the combination that he wants to. Oh, he gets hit with a right and a left, but some brilliant stuff from Boots Ennis. Catching in between the shots when he's throwing. When he's throwing, that uppercut is dead, too. How you feel? Yo, keep stabbing. Don't stay in that same spot, boo. You, you got to talk about little dead. That ain't nothing. I know. But when you, when you throw something, move. I want you to move. Don't be there. I'm going to tell you when it's when it get breaking down. Yo, I mean, keep doing stabbing that body. Man. Well, you know, the hand speed of uh, Jerron Ennis is amazing. And here we're going to see evidence of that. More, uh, several of those punches got motion. in. Yeah, that was in slow motion. How about that? <laughs> and, you know, even though one was blocked, you know, and a couple of them got in and uh, trying to bolo punch from way back. Uh, and even the uppercut that went against the glove pushed the glove back of Via. Which then is fascinating advice. Don't stay there after you've landed a punch. Move, which is usually, great advice. And that's exactly what he usually does, able to create angles, serve, turn his opponents. We've seen him do perfect circles in the center of the ring as he continues to move off that jab, doing that right now, curl that right behind the high guard of Villa. And that's a, that's a power jab that uh, Ennis is throwing. The bloody nose came from that jab. And here's the thing about this fight. We knew this coming in. It's likely Jerron Ennis is going to have his way in these early rounds. How much is he going to have his way? Can Villa get through that to land power shots as the fight goes on? We'll see. Well, Villa, a pressure fighter, aggressive fighter, and so far walking into these shots from Jerome Boots Ennis, right where Ennis wants him to be. Yeah, and a lot of the punches that Ennis is throwing, you know, they're obviously effective, accurate, and he's not missing much. He rarely does. He never took a now Via concentrating on lead, have that lead hand. He landed the right. Oh, and did say that he's a great counter puncher also? And this time, yeah. this guy does it all. Oh, there's that inside out on everything. <laughs> yeah, offensively, there's he's one of the most versatile fighters. Oh, a nice uppercut, uppercut on Villa. the inside by Via. And this is one of the most versatile uh, offensive fighters I've seen in all the time I've been announcing look, boxing. Look at that combination. Left uppercut, right hook by Ennis. Oh, oh. counter right hand lands upstairs for Villa. Right uppercut by Villa. But then Ennis comes back. And even when he gets hit, doesn't panic, doesn't... You know, Thomas Delorme landed several really good right hands against Ennis. It didn't hurt him. He ended up knocking Delorme out 40 seconds later. But Villa, probably a better puncher than Delorme. We have seen blood from the nose of Villa. He's never been officially cut, but it looks to me like there might be a small cut around the left eye as they're at close quarters. Villa, this is what we expected, those the pugilistic pyrotechnics, both heavy hitters, both known for their knockouts. And here in round three, they are going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Another uppercut right. lands for Villa. And Count it right for Menace. These segments.
parts of the fight, even if, if he uh, ends up taking a few more punches, this is what he wants, and he's been able to get some nice shots in. Uh, and so has Ennis. Straight left, there's a right hook by Ennis. Yeah, V is a guy that doesn't mind taking two, three punches in order to land one big shot, and you know, so far he's gotten his own shots too. But again, it's, it's Ennis staying in the inside for too long. And with his credentials, with his record, with his standing, at this stage, every fight for Jerome Boutenis mm. until he gets a title fight is a potential trap fight. Yeah, and here we absolutely. have him against Roymond Villa. Nice exchange. Great round. Now backed up of Villa momentarily, but some good stuff here in round mm. three. Well, that was fun. Well, that was quite an eventful round. Ennis, of course, showing us his hand speed and good punching. And here on the and and drawing all the combinations, but then Via getting on the inside, as we'll see here in a little bit. And he was, you know, this was a lot of awkward action on the inside, but Via was able to get some some shots in as well. Here's where they had a, a prolonged exchange. Ennis landing that right hook on the inside. And, and Via looking for some shots on the inside. Hey, Roymon, Via tried to become the first guy to win a round from Jerome Boutenis. I don't know if he did enough to do so, but we continue with this matchup round number four. Yeah, but one thing's for sure, he is going to keep trying. He's known for that Villa. I mean, if you're seeing him bloody right now, I mean, <laughs> this is a normal Villa. This yeah. is how he fights. Man, his head is right on the center line, right in the sights of Jerome Boutenis. And, and a reminder that in the fight with Rashidi Ellis, this was happening. Wow. And Villa was able to come back. Now, whether you can do that against Ennis, who punches harder than Rashidi Ellis, that's a big question. Yeah, but we still haven't seen any body punches landed by Villa. That's, that's yeah, one thing. Yeah, just a couple, but yeah, not many. He, he needs to work the body breakdown, Ennis. And it's been fighting lefty for most of the last couple of rounds here. There's a nice left hand to the body by Jerome Boots Ennis. Two minutes remaining in the fourth. Another body shot by Ennis. Then one upstairs splitting the guard of Villa. Ennis is knockdowns. He's had 21 in his last oh. in recent fight. Come with the left or the right. Pot Both, uh, you know, create knockdowns and knockouts. Yeah, that's where you don't want to be if you're Ennis. I know you're comfortable, yeah. but hey, don't give it an opportunity. Every punch available in his arsenal. He varies his attack, the punch placement, the timing. The selection. And the defense. Now there's head movement from Zia. That's important. He has not done that very much in this fight. Final minute of the fourth. Straight left hand down the middle, splits the guard again for Ennis. Goes to back to the body. Is the jab that Ennis is just just keeps throwing blind in Villa, not letting them get in as easy as other opponents. And there's a place where Villa needs to be working, not letting Ennis just tie him up and stop working. And Ennis moves switching back to righty. Double jab upstairs, then follows up with a jab to the body. Does Ennis miss? There's a right hand from Ennis. That was a beautiful right hand, and how he just closed and, and grabbed on Amvilla to, you know, stop his, his uh, offense. Villa with that left hook upstairs. The defense of Jerron Ennis on display, just moving and such quick reflexes. Huge boxing fan, 
Jackson. It's Stephen Jackson, co-host of the weekly podcast series All the Smoke with Matt Barnes and Stephen Jackson and has been visiting fight towns around America for a special series on one of his favorite sports, boxing. Don't worry about it. There's some more reasons. There's some more reasons. I get this. You cool? Yeah. Yo, keep boxing. Keep boxing. Throw that straight. Sometimes, sometimes work. Sometimes walk, walk with the straight, the straight right hand on whatever side you want. Walk, walk with it, and then roll. Well, here is Ennis as a righty landing the lead right hand, which is what his dad was calling for. And he said, whichever side you're on, whether it's a jab or a, or a right hand when you're a righty. This is round number five, scheduled for 12. Counter right hand lands on Villa's face as Villa was looking for the home run. Yeah, as long as you always beat Villa to the punch, I mean, you're going to be successful as if you're at, uh, Ennis. But you don't want to let him get let him get out first like he's doing right there. bothered Ennis and Villa now putting on the pressure Ennis the, trying to clinch and just slow down whatever momentum Villa is trying to build here and the big thing is Villa is starting to go downstairs a little bit that's very important for him because he, he's going to have a hard time if he doesn't go down there to, to land some punches that'll set up the punches upstairs and another thing is that Villa does not get discouraged whatsoever no. That's one thing about it. Yeah, he keeps going. I mean, we saw it against Rashid Ali. You mentioned it. He knocked him down in the 12th round twice. I mean, he, that proves to be the difference. That's why yeah. he's here tonight. Yeah. So yeah, he, he carries that power up to the 12th round. Oh, and there's a hand speed and power from Ennis. Chopping right hand via with the right hook. Coming up on the midpoint of the fifth. And it's normally lands 49% of his power punches, landing at 42% tonight. That's everything other than the jab, so he's, he's pretty close to his average. That was a beautiful angle, how, how he did it right there, and his, his sidestep and a beautiful uppercut. There's a lead right hand by Via, counter left by Ennis. A minute left in the fifth frame. And there, mm. left, right, Via sitting down in his punches. Ennis trying to roll with them, trying to box them, going to the body. Bobs and weaves under that one. Body attack by Ennis, uppercut attempt by Villa. Right hook to the body by Boots Ennis. They are creating an entertaining match here. <laughs> they really are. But yes, Ennis oh, is right dominating. Uppercut, but... Right hook by Ennis. Straight left hand lands for Ennis. Right hook again lands for Boots. It's a good is winning this round obviously with those rallies but still lightning quick one two by Ennis as we come to the end of five Via got him against the ropes and did some pretty good work. He landed downstairs and there he gets the right uppercut in. That was an excellent shot. And the fact that he's mixing his attack to the body and head is allowing the land to the head. And there in the center of the ring, good defensive job by uh, Butenis to block that overhand right. And then he comes back with to the body. Ennis lands 35% of his landed punches to the body, so he loves to go downstairs. And then later on, um, good work by Ennis from the outside as Via tries to get in. That was what that nice, nice right hook. And Via just kept coming after it.
The timing, good rhythm is always by Jerron Boots Ennis again, establishing the rhythm with the jab to begin round six from the South. I've Boston. always had so much respect for Mike Brown. Forward, but gets that I've always had so much passion Brown for what I do job. and what it can give me and how it can make me grow not just as a person. The by Ennis. One of the interesting things about Ennis is he lands that uppercut from far out when you're not really supposed to be able to do that. He doesn't doesn't often get counted. No, and the reason he doesn't is because when he throws that uppercut right away, he turns, he, uh -huh. he switches. Good point. Yeah, he gets to an angle where he's not going to be able to get, get caught. But again, I love the, the you know, the aggression from Villa. He keeps trying. He's getting hit with big shots. You know, he wants to land one big one himself. There's oh, a right hand by Villa. Well, Villa has had eight knockdowns in his last day of fight, so he's created knockdowns just like Ennis, but obviously, you know, different kettle of fish here tonight. Straight left hand landed for Evans. Villa misses with the uppercut. Clubbing right hook. Here's Evans now unloading. Trying to keep him at the end of that jab. Trying to keep him at range. Slipping, bobbing and weaving. Jerron Boots Ennis, a minute 45 left in the first half of this scheduled 12 rounder at Welterweight. And this is one of the first rounds in which Villa is throwing more punches than Ennis. He's throwing about 11 more punches than him, so he's being more active. That isn't to say he's necessarily winning the round, but he's right. certainly throwing more. And right when we, you would think, you know, that he was going to get tired or overwhelmed yeah. with the punches, no, he, he keeps throwing. Punches and punches, and when we're talking about a guy that, you know, he just keeps coming. Ennis takes another couple right hands, unable to really turn via like we've seen in the past, using those angles and that footwork. Ennis has done a great job as a righty, keep, or as a lefty, keeping his left hand up. Many of those overhand rights have been blocked by Villa. He does not neglect the body with the jab, Jerome Boots Ennis. Switches to orthodox, utilizing lateral movement now along the ropes. And looking at Villa now, right now he's walking in forward with his hands down. He's got to be careful with that. High guard again. Oh, clubbing, chopping right hand. And Villa's knees buckled. Villa in trouble trying to hold on. Villa's never been down as a pro. In danger here. 30 seconds left in the sixth. As we complete the first half of this fight. Let's go. Revive him. Revive him. Let's go. Some water here. Let's go. Let's get him alive again. Good defense. Uh, as he blocks that punch with the right hand as we talked about that Villa was trying to throw. And then later in the round, Ennis would land a punch that turned out to be his best power punch of the fight. A beautiful right hand as delivered as a righty that his father had been calling for from him and that almost stopped Villa, uh, Villa almost knocked him down. Very punctuated a good first six rounds with that. Right hand in the six as we begin round at number seven. Undefeated, Jerron Boots Ennis, the once a beaten Roy Mon Villa, both ranked in the top ten in the Ring Magazine's welterweight rankings. Ennis number three behind the two fighters who will vie to become the first undisputed welterweight champion in the four belt era July 29 on Showtime pay-per-view. Talking about Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford. Let's bring in our unofficial scorer, Steve Farhood. Mo, after the fifth round, I called the Associated Press because I thought it was a close round. And for Jerron Ennis to be in a close round, that's a news flash. <laughs> but six, you, you saw what happened in the sixth round. Same old, same old. I have Ennis winning every round, although the fifth was close. 60-54, Jerron Ennis at the halfway mark. Yeah, and the way that uh, Anders was able to land that is, you know, he he shot, he, he threw his punch right when Villa was throwing his over on top. So he's waiting for that opening. 
And it's just beautiful seeing Anna how he picks his shots. But again, you know, V is still dangerous. Still oh, in this fight. He's going not, for the right yeah. hand. Yep. He's no, he's no longer in danger. He, as he was in the last one, he's not hurt. That punch is so lethal for him. Yeah, he's known for that. A chin made of tungsten steel oh. for Roy Monfield. A minute 11 left in the seventh. Ennis really wanted to get a knockout Another in this fight. Didn't cut. get in his last fight. He wants it badly. Working for it here in round seven. Less than a minute remaining. Toe to toe, and Ed Ennis backing V up. Via's face bloodied, bruised, battered, but he's still standing, still throwing punches. I know that uh, Via has a puncher's chance, but he's taking a lot of shots in this round. A lot of heavy shots to the head. Oh, left hook to the liver by Ennis. Via continues to punch, leads with the left. But hands are lower. Right uppercut, left hook by Via. <laughs> oh, right hand, right uppercut, and it's and again that right hand seemed to bother Via. Hands are down. Right hand left by Ennis rolls with that punch. It is all boots, Ennis. Spectacular round for Ennis. There's that uppercut. Uh, th uh, this time from the left-handed stance. And that, that's just a punch that he can land at varying uh, distances, which is very impressive. And then later on, as we move on in the round, more from Ennis as the lefty. Again, there's the uppercut. Um, that punch landed a number of times, and Roy Monvia showing an astonishing toughness, not just hanging in there, but having some moments in that round where he threw some good body punch. Roman, let's work, let's work the nose a little bit here. Come on. Keep working with the uppers and work the body. Let's go. Raymond Villa knocked out his first 24 victories. Were all knockouts now in his last two fights. Big wins over the previously undefeated Janelson, Boca Chica, Rashidi Ellis was able to drop them, unable to stop them. But here tonight, trying valiantly to stay alive against the brilliant Jerron Boots Ennis. Yeah, it's a Boots Ennis show. I mean, we're seeing offense, we're seeing defense, where we're seeing angles, we're seeing counterpunching. I mean, we've pretty much seen everything that is, you know, to do as a fighter for Ennis. You know, via a moment ago, and Ennis is really having a good time at her, smiling, having fun. But using the jab as kind of a range finder, via didn't do that enough early in the fight when it might have made a bigger difference but then he threw a right hand that almost got there and you would think that he would not be thinking straight speaking of via but he came in in this round yes with, you know he, with something with the with the decide decided to go on the inside double left hand on the inside by via but continues to eat the jab of jerron boots ennis that's a great point abner he was he's thinking in there it's mm -hmm. not like he's just trying to survive on instinct he, he he's trying very much to employ certain tactics that will work Seen the head movement from Bia, but he's leaning too too forward, too down. But he's gonna, he's uh, he's opening up for that uppercut yeah. that Ennis throws. Or at least he's putting himself in that position. Ennis has been effective both as a righty and a lefty. He's fought probably about 60% of this fight, I think, as a lefty. But he did well as a righty also. Left hand by Ennis. Via on the inside, leaning in. You know, in that last sequence, Via landed two really good punches. It didn't even affect mm -hmm. Ennis at all. And there's always been that question mark yeah. uh, about Ennis. Does he have a chin? Can he take a punch? Well, so far he's taking Via's shots, too. Yeah, 
no he one's takes hurt a Anderson. lot of those punches. Oh, awful lot yeah, of those shots. No one has hurt Ennis, but he hasn't faced that super big puncher. Zia is a good puncher. Wow. Oh, what a combination. Roymond Villa getting rocked upstairs still in a vertical position for how much longer? 30 seconds left in the eighth. Jerron Boots Ennis said he wanted to offer a legendary performance tonight. Wanted to close the show in spectacular style. He's trying, but Roymond Villa proving to be a tough out. Wow. Right hook lands, left hand lands. landed in that last mm -hmm. round it didn't make any difference he was still dominated in that round he landed some beauties he and it did not stop Ennis counter left hand lands for Ennis Steve Farhood has Ennis pitching a shutout I will not disagree with Steve oh, Farhood in this fight not a right hand from Villa <laughs> Now Villa can be a be too grateful for his own good. I mean, I know he's going to keep trying. That's his style. That's always his tactic. Tactic, you know, to going forward, and look for a heavy shot. But oh my God, he's 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 getting hit too much. Mm. Well, his promoter Samson oh, right Lukowicz said, that, yeah, said that he would win by a knockout in the ninth round. Well, we'll see. That doesn't look, that's not looking too promising right now. A knockout might happen in the ninth round. Yeah, not, might yeah. not be for the person he wants. <laughs> Shots by Ennis. Villa misses with the left uppercut frame. Ennis frames him. Oh, then took the uppercut that and, and that's, his head back. That's Ennis' own fault. He's fighting too too much in the inside. He's got to go back to, you know, what got him the clean shots, which is in the, the outside uh, range. He's mm. trying to frame Villa and then deliver the shots. Now just leaning in on Villa. Just over a minute left here in round number nine. Another body shot by Boots Ennis. Come on, man. Work out there. Yeah, it's fine. I remember when Ennis fought Sergey Lipinets and we thought he was fighting on the inside leg. We thought, oh, Lipinets might get something done. He got nothing done. Oh, resulted in one of the more yeah. memorable knockouts of Jerron Boots at his career. The first man to stop yeah. Lipinets in what was Boots' first 12-round uh, main event. Yeah, very good point. Oh, oh, nice combination by Ennis and Villa's just still standing there and throwing punches. Yeah, he landed a nice right hand for you, but it made no difference. Mouthpiece. Whose mouthpiece? Yeah, probably it's Roy Monfield. <laughs> we took a guess. We would say him, right? And just when you think it might be the last round for Bia, I mean, he's still in it. Body shots in the final seconds of round number nine. Double left by Ennis punctuating the round. Well, that mouthpiece of Villa was knocked out. Now, I think it's going to come courtesy of this overhand right. Yeah. Uh, and then what else? There's an uppercut that follows it. Keep working, keep working. Move your waist. You ready, champ? You're gonna stop the fight, so you gotta keep going. Spit it out, spit it out. Villa's 
won seven in a row. Butsen is undefeated. Round 10. And Ennis decides this round to be a righty. We'll see how that works out. Mokata right by Violander, but then Ennis turned, took a lot of the whatever steam is left in those punches off of him. You know, this has been a dominant performance by Ennis, but still an exciting fight. Yeah. And right for, uh, for the bell, referee David Fields did tell Via, you got to show me something. Yeah, and well, it's showing the tough one. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. And Ennis is a really entertaining fighter. Yeah, very I mean, good point. Yeah, when people normally say, oh, he's a boxer, mm -hmm. well, do he, does he just move around the ring? No, he moves, he throws he's from different angles. I mean, explosive, yeah. he does it all. And you know, Via at the end of that last round landed a really good right hand, uh, the kind that he's used to hurting people with. That didn't hurt Ennis. Jab continues to bother Via. Two minutes remaining in the 10th. Lateral movement by Ennis, resets, flicks the jab. He's on the ropes, trying to set a trap, trying to bait. Vian double jab, lightning quick. Yeah. Vian comes in and meets a heavy artillery from Ennis. But Vian determined 